Good evening. Good evening to everyone around the world. Good evening to you. Start sharing now, quickly. Start sharing. Start sharing quickly, quickly. We have a lot of things to talk about today, you know. I've been quiet for some time. I've been in the background because we are busy with the TV station, setting up the TV station. And I'm glad that today we have launched the TV station already. You are going to hear a lot of things tonight. So start sharing. Share, share. Share the video in all the groups. Share the video on your wall as many times as possible. Share it everywhere. Let everybody gather. Let everybody know that CR1 is live today. Mm -hmm. I'm also trying to share is, is streaming Mwango Sich, as I said, streaming live from Kabwe Center. How is Kabwe mm -hmm. today? I love you. I love you. Love from Kabwe. Love from all over the world. Love from Nigeria. Love from, from mm -hmm. Botswana. Mm -hmm. Love from uh, Zambia, Zimbabwe. Anywhere you are watching me from, you are so blessed. We have a lot of things that we are going to talk about tonight. Very important thing. So start sharing. Even if you are you are a cadre, you are free to watch tonight because I can see many cadres are beginning to wake up. Many cadres are beginning to reason since they started watching CR1. So that's why it's important. Once you join, you share. You share in all the groups. You share in in all any make sure that you have shared it's very important since, so that we proceed glory 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 many people who we are missing see one see one where have you been see one you don't you don't come online. <laughs> we are busy, you know. We are busy with the TV station. We are, we are working for hard for the TV station. Mm -hmm. And I have good news today. Very good news. Very, very good news that I'm going to share with you all. Godfather is so faithful. Godfather is so good. Anything he says come to pass. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. If you are watching me now, you are so blessed. Somebody saying, is this life? This is life. Today, you can see it's life. It's life, life, life. We are live. I'm about to talk to you now. So if I've just joined right now, you have not shared this broadcast. Please share this broadcast quickly. I want everyone to hear what I want to say. I want I want everyone to hear what especially if you are from Zambia. There are so many people from Zambia who are saying, see one, you know, since you started talking, our eyes are opening, the youth's eyes are opening, the youths are able to reason, the youths are able to see things, the youths are able to 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 to, to wake up. Not only the youth. I've received so many messages from Elderly people from the villages, from Luapula, Chipata, 
Keep to a cup about from everywhere. Who are saying, see our one since you, we started listening to you. Our eyes are open. We, we are able to see what this corrupt government is all about. We are able to see what this government is all about. So I want to say a congratulations for your eyes being open. I'm not going to waste time. I think maybe I can be here for 30 minutes today because I want to say some few things that I would have loved to say. There are just some few things that I would have, I, 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 I would have loved to say. A few things that I want to say. In the first place, uh, it's, a, it's a shame. It's very shameful that uh, many years ago, Malawi was looking up to Zambia. Malawi was uh, was looking up to Zambia. In fact, many years ago when I visited Zambia, when I was in Zambia, I could hear Zambian people saying Malawi is just a village. Malawi is just one province in of Zambia. Malawi is, is this, Malawi is that, Malawi is poor, Malawi is this. But uh, Malawi... They have proven to us that they are far better than Zambia. Not because they are better than Zambia in intellectuals, they are better than Zambia in, uh, in infrastructure, they are better than Zambia in, uh, in, in natural resources. They are better than Zambia because Zambia has, is being destroyed because of corruption. For example, we all are seeing what is happening in Zambia. I want to address this one and then we, pro we, we proceed one after the other. Please be very, very uh, attentive to what I want to say tonight. It's going to help you. It's really, it's definitely going to help you. It's going to open your mind, especially if you are from Zambia. Many years ago, I remember the time I, I, was, I visited Zambia for the first time. That was 2010 or 2009, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, they were talking about Malawi. You know, many people, you know, Malawi, Malawi is just a poor country, you know. Malawi has nothing, you know. Malawi, you can't compare Malawi to Zambia. This is what Malawi was looking up to Zambia. <laughs> Malawi was looking up to Zambia. In fact, people were coming from Malawi and coming into Zambia looking for better life. Learning a lot of things from Zambia. By then, things were okay. I know that there was corruption in Zambia, but the corruption in Zambia was not as at ease the way it is today. Ropia Banda was the president, and the many things were going on, but you can't compare what was happening then to what is happening here. Today, it's very shameful that Zambians are looking up to Malawi. <laughs> Zambians, I can see the youths. I can see brothers and sisters. I can see people celebrating Malawi. I can see, uh, uh, even from here in South Africa, everybody celebrating Malawi. Mal Zambia used to be a country that... Anywhere you entered, everyone was going, oh, Zambia, this is a great country. Oh, Zambia, this is a good country. Oh, Zambia, this is a nice country. Everyone, we are all celebrating Zambia. The reason why I stayed in Zambia is because Zambia was good. Because Zambia had a great economy. Because Kwacha had value. Because the economy of Zambia was so strong. Because there was no massive, massive corruption. But Eddie Galunga has come to destroy everything completely. <laughs> Today, I'm watching Zambia. I'm seated. I've not been talking. I've, I've, just, I've just kept quiet. I've seated. I am watching the whole country of Zambia celebrating Malawi. This is why the Bible says the first will be the last and the last will be the first. Why? Because of corruption. <laughs> Corrupt idiots have taken over Zambia and destroyed Zambia. Today, Zambia is a laughing stock. Anywhere you go and mention Zambia, it's a laughing stock. Why? Because it has been destroyed. Because of corruption. Because of corruption. Everyone is saying, ah, how I wish we are, how I wish we are Malawi. Zambians are saying, how I wish we are Malawi. How I wish we are Malawi. Imagine Malawi of yesterday. Imagine Malawi. Small Malawi. Why? Because of corruption. Corruption is very dangerous. Corruption destroys a nation. 
Corruption destroys a nation. If you have just joined now, please share. It's very, very important. You share this broadcast. Let them hear what I want to talk. Let the Digalungu hear what I want to talk. Let uh, 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 all of them hear what I want to talk. Corruption has destroyed Zambia today. Today, Malawians are laughing at Zambia. Zambia is a laughing stock <laughs> all over the world because of corruption. Everything was okay. Everything was fine until Edi Galungu took over power. Corruption is bad. Corruption has destroyed the nation of Zambia. I want to announce to you all that uh, our TV station has been open today. If you have a, a DSTV after this broadcast, you can uh, check it there. It's already there. We have named it Limpopo TV because Limpopo TV it has a lot of content. I cannot just sit and talk about preach and preach and preach the whole day. No, we have done it in a way where Limpopo TV is going to broadcast so many things. And within one hour or two hours, I will come and dispose PF. <laughs> it's there on DSTV. By tomorrow, we are coming on free to air. So that the whole world, when I'm talking about the corruption in Zambia, I, you will not, it will not only be washed in Zambia, it will be washed all over the world. People will see that the, the leadership of Edi Galungu is very, very corrupt. <laughs> it's the most corrupt leadership all over the world as we are talking. People must see it and people must hear it. Corruption has destroyed Zambia. What Malawi was able, what Malawi was able to achieve, they achieved it because they said no to corruption. I am talking to Zambian people. When are you going to say no to corruption? You can see that your leaders are very corrupt. I don't want to come here and start mentioning them. There are too many things that will prove to you that your leader is a very corrupt human being. Your leader is chief, is, is, is chief of corruption. Your leader is king of corruption. That's why Zambia is being destroyed completely. That's why Zambia is gone. That's why when you mention Zambia today, no one wants to hear about Zambia just because the leader is corrupt. The leadership of Zambia is corrupt. Corruption has made Zambia today celebrating Malawi. Malawi used to learn something from Zambia. Today, Zambia is the one learning something from Malawi because of corruption. Somebody was, I saw people saying the president of, uh, the president of Malawi was very corrupt. The former president of Malawi was very corrupt. Uh, Mr. Muterika was very corrupt. I said, you, if you say Muterika is corrupt, you don't know Edigalungu. <laughs> if you say the president, the former president of Malawi, Peter Muterika, was removed because of corruption. Then you must meet Edi Galungu. When you meet Edi Galungu, then you know that there is a grandfather of corruption. The grandmaster, the jackaban of corruption. That's what he is. <laughs> For example, you know, people are persecuting that man. He is a corrupt man. The former president of, uh, of uh, Malawi. I told them, before the election started, the delegation of the DPP, they came to me, they came to me here in Limpopo. I said it openly. When we were working, Godfather said that that man is not going to win election. Godfather said, we must tell him to step down. I said it openly. Godfather said, you are not going anywhere. He was saying the DPP government in Malawi is not going anywhere. Step down. The same way I'm telling Eddie Galungu, even this night, if you are wise, step down, don't contest. If you contest, you'll be embarrassed. I told them, DPP government in Malawi, I told them, I said, Godfather said that we are not going anywhere, step down. They, they agreed and they went back. When they went back, they continued. On that day of election, I was live on Facebook and I was saying it with confidence. I said that man is going to be embarrassed by the opposition. The same way Eddie Galungu is going to be embarrassed next year. If Eddie Galungu wins the election, then you know that I'm not a Jagaban. <laughs> it's done. It's sealed. It's confirmed. It's not going anywhere. We told them there in Malawi. That president was so arrogant. He was arrogant like Eddie Galungu today. He was very arrogant. He didn't want to hear. He didn't want to listen. 
That day, election was going on. I was live on Facebook. I said, this man is going to be embarrassed. He must go and sit down because he's corrupt. He didn't listen to me. After the election, what happened? There are so many of you that are watching me. And one thing you know about me is that I don't lie. I don't. When I tell you that it's yes, it's yes. When I tell you it's no, it's no. I told you that PF is going to be confused. Because we have already worked. And I told you that even if you bring Jesus to vote for them, they are not going to win. And I told you to say, even if PF pray from here to heaven, confusion is going to be there. We worked it. Today, what is happening in PF? Even if you are watching me, you are blind. You don't see. You are a kada. You are a hardcore kada. You don't see with your eyes. You don't hear with your ears. Even if you are watching me today, as I'm talking, what is happening in PF? Before we strike, before we attack, I tell you so that you can try your best. I told them, that was in, in January, January this year, I told them to say, because you have returned my things, we are going to put confusion there. What is happening in PF today? Are there not massive confusion? I am saying it again today. Even if you are watching me, you don't believe me. I can finish this broadcast. I tell you that peace will return in Zambia. Peace will return in PF. And I tell you to watch it. You will see that everything will normalize. But so long as I'm in charge, so long as I'm a Jacoban, so long as Godfather is there, there will be no peace in PF. They are going to fight like cat and dog. They are go what you are seeing is nothing. We are just starting. I'm telling you the gospel truth. I know where I'm coming from. I know where I belong. Why? Because they are corrupt party. They call me. They, they talk to me. See how one, what's going on? See how one, forgive. See how one, forgive us. See how one, I say, relax. <laughs> Your time is up. You are going. The same way I told the Malawi ruling party. They were arrogant. They had a lot of cadres. Like so many cadres that are watching me now. Who will be here commenting nonsense. Why are you talking about Zambia? Why are you talking? Why you don't talk about Boko Haram? Why you don't talk about this? Why you don't talk about this? So many of you arrogant. That's the same way DPP cadres were. Arrogant in Malawi. When I said you are not going anywhere. Tell Peter Mutarika to step down. Corruption has killed him. He didn't listen. They didn't listen. That is the same way I'm telling Eddie Galungu, step down. Don't contest. If you contest, you'll be embarrassed. What happened to Peter Mutarika is okay. It's, that one is okay. Because, by the way, Peter Mutarika is better than you. Because he's corrupt, but he's, he's not the father of corruption. He's not a papa of corruption. You are a jagaban of corruption. You are a papa of corruption. That's what you are, Eddie Galungu. Papa of corruption. The, the Jacoban of corruption. That's what you are. When somebody becomes a Jacoban, it means power. What you are doing has entered inside your blood. That's what you are. The Jacoban of corruption. Peter Mutarika is better than you. He was not as corrupt. He was not very corrupt. You are worse. Because number one, during the time of Mesgate, Peter Mutarika fired the agriculture minister that was involved in Mesgate scandal fired that person arrested that person Dorasilia was not even interrogated Dorasilia is still gallivanting in your leadership then tell me why you are not corrupt you are corrupt that's why Zambia is finished that's why Zambia is dead today that's why Milimi Prize is unbearable that's why Zesco cannot give electricity to people. They are giving useless excuses. Water is taking nine weeks to reach. Nine weeks to reach this thing. Now you have changed your mind. Now you want to use 40 million to buy a meter to regulate electricity. In which country? Because of corruption. PF is a corrupt, a corrupt, lead, a, a corrupt government. Government of failures, government of fools, government of idiots. That's what you are. Government of greedy people, government of thieves. Peter Mutarika is better than Edgar Lungu. 
at least he fired the minister. He fired some people that were caught in corruption. What has Eddie Galungu done? Doris Leah was caught in corruption. Doris Leah was facing charges. Eddie Galungu came and acquitted her. Today, Doris Leah is a saint. Doris Leah has power to make a decision in government. She was acquitted under Eddie Galungu. Rupia Banda was arrested by Sata. He was going through so many interrogations for, for, for corrupt charges. Eddie Galungu came, he acquitted. Uh, the son of Rupia Banda, uh, uh, James Banda, is it James? The one that ran to South Africa here. He was going through so much charges. Where is he today? Anything about corruption, Eddie Galungu embraced them. Even the people that are supposed to be in prison now, they are in government with Eddie Galungu. Tell me how the country is going to develop. That's why they are looting the country dry. They are looting and looting and looting and looting without shame. They are looting unbelievably. Tell me. Even those of you that are supporting Ed Galungu, tell me, just give me one reason why you must support him. Because he has destroyed the country. Completely destroyed. You are just joining this broadcast. Share it. I'm, I'm coming to watch something that you need to hear. Ed Galungu is a jagaban of corruption, the leader of corruption. I am a jagaban, leader of warrior, but he is a jagaban of corruption. Hmm? He's a jagaban of corruption. Every corrupt people, he embraced them. So long as someone is corrupt, he embraced them. What happened in Malawi? Does that man, Peter Mutarika, that they, 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 they removed in, in Malawi and they are celebrating, they are saying he's corrupt. I'm asking Malawians to come and meet Eddie Galungu. When you meet Eddie Galungu, then you know that Peter Mutarika is a saint. <laughs> he's a saint. <laughs> he's a saint. <laughs> I'm telling you, all his children are rich. All the people that are with him in PF, look, look, let me tell you something. There are groups in PF, there are groups that don't support what Eddie Galungu is doing. I'm telling you the truth. These groups, they have approached me, they have called me, they are saying, See, one, why not we remove Eddie Galungu and bring another person? Are you going to support us? I said, so long as it's PF, PF is dead. PF died with Sata. There is nothing like PF. So long as it's PF, I will not support you. I will never support corruption. Never in my life. I will never support corruption. PF is a corrupt party. Party of corrupt people. That's what PF is. I will never. Eddie Galungu and those that are close to him are very rich. Very rich. When I say rich, they are extremely rich. But those people that are in PF, who fought for PF, they are poor. <laughs> PF cadres are poor. <laughs> PF cadres are poorest. Even UPND cadres are better. Even NDC cadres are better. PF cadres are poorest. The people that fought for the party, the people that suffered for the party, those are the people that are poor. Eddie Galungu and the people that came to hijack the party are rich. Somebody like uh, 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 Doris Lea is a rich woman. Mouth, she's very rich. That mess gets scandal. Doris Lea was supposed to be in prison by now or at least been caught by now. Eddie Galungu didn't do anything. This one that you are calling a corrupt person in Peter Mutarika in Malawi, that man is a saint. <laughs> if, you, if, if, you, if you bring him and Eddie Galungu together, believe, believe me, that man is a saint. Edgar is a jagaban of corruption. Jagaban of corruption. Jagaban of corruption. The reason why I'm here today is that everyone is laughing at Zambia. Anywhere you mention Zambia today, Zambia is a laughing stock. Zambia is a laughing stock. Why? Because Eddie Galungu has destroyed the integrity of Zambia. When you talk about Zambia today, you talk about corruption. Zambia used to be a very nice country. I was there. I was in that country. I stayed there because it was a nice country. Today, foreigners have taken over Zambia. Uh, corruption has taken over Zambia. 
citizens of Zambia don't have right for anything today. Citizens of Zambia are afraid of foreigners. I'm telling you what I'm seeing with my own eyes. I'm telling you what people are calling me every day and telling me. The cost of living in Zambia is so, is so high. The cost of living in Zambia today is unbearable. You cannot manage to buy milli meal. You cannot manage to buy food. Kwacha has died beyond repair. There is nothing that is working in Zambia today. I was listening to uh, the, 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 the Zesco spokesperson or something. That man was comfortably saying there is going to be 10 hours mm -hmm. of load shedding every day until September. How are businesses going to survive? Because of corruption. Because of corruption. The corruption in, in PF is beyond. That's why I'm here today. I, I was talking about uh, any time when I talk, PF cadres, some of them that are still blind, many of them, their eyes are open. Many of them are still blind. But when I'm talking, many of them whose eyes are still blind, they tell me, see, I wonder why are you always talking? It's because of my talking that your president is able to remember the musicians today, the, the artist. <laughs> Complete six years in power. Eddie Galungu had no vision for mm -hmm. the youth. Mm -hmm. Eddie Galungu had no vision for the mm -hmm. artist. Mm -hmm. Eddie Galungu had no vision for anybody. Eddie Galungu only had vision to make himself rich and make his friends rich. That's all. PF had no vision for the youth. I listened to the Minister of Youth and Sports and he said, this is now when we want to uh, create something for the youth. All these things started happening when CR1 started talking. Anytime I'm live, they are watching me. They use Eddie Galungu and his friends. They use fake pages to watch me. And they get my advice and put it in practice. <laughs> and, and those of you that are saying, CR1, why are you talking about Zambia? Those of you are the people that are benefiting. Like now, your president... After six years in government, has just remembered the youths and has empowered the artist. After six good years in office, this is now when Edgar Lungo has remembered the youths. <laughs> and and the, the thing is that I don't understand the kind of leadership that Edgar Lungo is having because I don't think he has advisors. I don't think there is anyone in that cabinet that reasons like a human being. Just because I started talking about the youths, talking about the artists, you remove 30 million and you give to the youths. Edgar Lungu, are you wise? Are you, uh, do you make use of your brain? Okay, I said it before. There are more than 8 million youths in Zambia. And you release 30 million and give to them. <laughs> 80 million youths. Eight, eight, eight million news. Eight million news. Edgar Lungu removed 30 million and gave to the youths. How are they going to share it? How much are they going to get each? Just because you hate CR1 talking about the youth and because you see that the youth have woken up, you are panicking. What was your vision for the youth before now? What did you have in mind for the youth before now? Your minister of youth was just getting salary, just like the chief boot licker that gets salary because of licking your boot. What is the name of that idiot? Boman Lusambo. That one that get, he gets salary for licking your boots. I'm coming to talk about that. But I'm saying, what was actually your vision for the youths before today? Okay, even if we say the money was not for the youths, the money was for the artist. Edgar Lungu, how many artists are there in Zambia? When you talk about artists, you are not talking about musicians alone. You are talking about those people that are into movie production. You are talking about artists, those people that are drawing something. You are talking. There are so many artists in Zambia, more than millions of them. And you release 30 million and give to them. What do you want them to do with it? 30 million. 30 million. 30 million if you translate it to dollar. You are talking about 1.5 or 1.2 or 1.3 million US dollars only. That's what you gave to your 
your your your artist but in your leadership you used almost 500 million kwacha 100 million kwacha to build a target 100 million kwacha to build a target and you gave the youth 30 million what type of a human being are you and you want the youth to be quiet and you want the artist to be quiet that man you actually will not even leave your coffers there are a lot of hungry vultures around you cry cry baby is already excited you can see cry babies everywhere jumping saying the man is not for the youth the money is just for the artist cry cry baby is excited it's, he has been hungry he's hungry now you have given them that money they will eat it it won't amount to anything <laughs> they, they will eat it believe me you, if you actually see the excitement in cry cry baby you will know that that money will not even reach others before that money gets there, cry, you people like cry cry baby will eat it. Because he's hungry, he's a hungry man. What did you what what do you want them to do with that man? I said it before. Mm -hmm. You don't know what you are doing. When you when Sata died and they asked you what vision do you have for Zambia, and you said you didn't have any vision for Zambia, we thought you were joking. Now we can see what you meant. <laughs> the problem is actually ours. We are the people that are to be blamed because we looked at a man that had no vision and carried the whole country and gave it to him. That's why he has destroyed the country completely. Completely. You are you are jumpy jumpy. Today, if the youths are crying, you will jump to the youths. Tomorrow, the women will start crying, you jump to the women. Tomorrow, men will start crying. You jump to the men. Is that how to rule a country? You must have a plan for everyone. What was your plan for the youths before they started crying? Before they started speaking out? What was your plan? You had no plan for them. Absolutely no plan for them. It's now that they are making noise. That's when you, you rose up and gave them 30, 30 million. How, what is 30 million? Your daughter Tesila, only Tesila herself only. What is her worth today? How much that money, if you give it to Tesila, is it not a pocket money for her? Eh? You carried it and gave to, you say you are giving to the musicians. For what? Eh? Anytime I'm live, you and your people will be watching me secretly and get advice from me. Then you go and implement what I'm saying. For free. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> and, and you pretend like you don't listen. It's only when I started talking about the artist that you have woke, woken up. You are giving them, I, I, I'm, I'm giving you 30 million. You don't need to give them 30 million. Do you actually know how to empower the youths? You don't give them money. If you give the man, that's the, that, that, that. If you give the money, you have destroyed everything. They will eat it. They are hungry. You know, your cadres are hungry. Those people that are choir masters of you are hungry. That cry, cry, baby. That guy is hungry. You can see somebody that had 30 million and is excited. It's not a minister. It's not a, it's not, it's, it's nobody in PF, but he's the first person that rose to clarify, to say that 30 million is not for the youth, it's for the artist. <laughs> you can see, hunger is bad. What is 30 million? Eh? Most of your, most of your, 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 most of your children there in Zambia, most of your cadres are hungry. That's why they are excited about 30 million. 30 million is nothing. You know, it's not even how to empower the youth. You empower the youth by creating something for them. For example, if you want to empower the artist, buy them a station, buy them a, a slot on DSTV. Pay for it. Let them go and start playing their music on DSTV. The whole world is watching. That is what is called empowerment. You that's what is called empowerment. That 30 million, use it to open Mulungushi test style. Let them go and get employment. That is what is that is what is called empowerment. Don't just wake up and say I've supported the youth with 30 million. They are hungry, they will eat it. Believe me, they are hungry, they will eat that money. They have never seen such money before. 
But that 30 million you are talking about is what a, 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 a musician in Nigeria uses to buy gift for the girlfriend. I swear. But they are hungry because they have never seen that type of money before. They are excited. They are jumping up and down. You can see the excitement on Facebook. You can see what Cry Cry Baby is doing on Facebook. You can see that Cry Cry Baby is so excited. <laughs> it's always on Facebook. <laughs> Cry Cry Baby. It's always on Facebook. Clarifying the money is not is the money is for the artist. I am the one that spoke about the artist before Eddie Galungu remembered them. I didn't say give them money. I said empower them. Empowering them does not mean give them money. Buy them a slot on DSTV. Pay for it. Let every Zambian musician be playing their music there. People in South Africa will be watching them. People in Malawi will be watching them. People in Nigeria will be watching them. People in Kenya will be watching them. The more they watch them, the more they invite them. When a musician from Zambia goes to perform in Nigeria, when he's coming back, he will come back with a lot of dollars. He will bring that money into your economy. You have empowered them, they will empower your in economy. But everyone in PF is down. There is nobody in PF that reasons. If you go to Nigeria, entertainment is contributing a lot into our economy. The, those things can happen to Zambia. When people are watching them, for example, I will be watching them here in South Africa. I say, wow, these guys can sing. I invite them when they come here. I pay them in dollar. They bring that dollar to Zambia. Invest it in your economy. Your economy is growing. You have empowered them. They are empowering your, your economy. But the problem, everyone in PF is down. All they want is money. All they want is money. You give them, they eat. You give as the way it is now. I think Cry Cry Baby has already made a budget of what to do because he has never seen money before. Poverty is bad. <laughs> Poverty is bad. <laughs> Poverty is bad. Even at Galungu, the reason why he has destroyed Zambia today is because he was poor. <laughs> he was poor. Uh, when you are poor and anywhere you see money, you want to get it. That's how it is. Poverty is bad. If there is any prayer you want to pray in your life, pray that you shouldn't be poor. Pray that you shouldn't be poor. If you are poor, you will steal. There is no way you will not become a thief. <laughs> but if you are rich, like Aka in the Echilema, it's difficult for you to steal. <laughs> Clap your hand for Aka in the Echilema. <laughs> I'm telling you the gospel truth. <laughs> if you are poor, Temptation is very, very easy. You are easily tempted. If you are poor, you are going to be tempted easily. Just like Edgar was poor, very poor human being. I remember the time we are helping him. Part of the money that I was using to do the work, they, it was mine. There was no money. That's why today the country is dead. Because when a poor man is ruling, anywhere he sees money, he will collect it. He's collecting, his family will collect, his friend will collect, everyone is collecting. Because they have never seen it before. Somebody that has seen money before, we never bother. What is, what is 30 million? What, Eddie Galungu, what is 30 million to empower the youths? What is 30 million to empower the artist? Eh? You, you play with them. You don't have vision. You are watching CR1. Today I'm talking about the youth. Tomorrow you are going to say you are empowering them. And that, that one who call himself Doris Lear, she go to the street and pick up some clueless children and gather them and say, I'm having a discussion with the youths. Which youths? Which youths? Which youths Doris Lear? Those people, when, when you are talking to them, they are shivering. They don't know what to say. Those are the people you call youths. And you are deceiving yourselves. The same idea you used to destroy MMD is the same idea you brought to PF. And PF is going down together with you. I'm telling HH, please. You see these idiots that are in PF now. Don't allow any of them to be in your leadership next year. Never. Don't allow them. Don't. Don't allow any of them to be in your leadership. Don't. Believe me. Believe me. Zambia would have been a great country. 
but it has been destroyed by PF, completely mm-hmm. destroyed. Everything is destroyed. Everything is gone down. Everything is destroyed because of PF. Lack of visionary, lack of leadership, lack of... They they are so greedy in corruption. So greedy in corruption. That's why they are going to be having confusion. I will never leave them until they lose election next year. That's when they will realize what is going on in the party. As for now, none of them know what is going on. None of them know what is going on in PF. Not even one person know what is going on in PF. They are struggling to restore. They have called pastors. They have called witch doctors. They have called everybody to restore peace. There will not be peace there. They, until you lose election next year, there will not be peace. Because you are corrupt. Because you have been rejected. Because you have been rejected. I came here today to tell Zambian people that it's a shame that a country that you used to laugh at, Malawi, is a country that you are looking up to today. Why? Because of corruption. Your leader is uh, the jagaban of corruption. Everything in Zambia now, if you are a Zambian, you, you, you you are afraid. When you see foreigner, you start shaking. It's, it was Chinese. Chinese came and they are treating Zambia anyhow they want. Today I'm 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 reading on the I'm I'm reading on the news. The owner of Chick or, or what is it called? Is it Chicago's? Chicago's. The owner of Chicago's had the audacity. Had the audacity to undermine the, a whole mayor of a city. What type of leadership is this? Mayor of a city, actually, mayor of a city in my country, in Nigeria, mayors are like governors. A president actually respects the mayor of a city. A president respects the mayor of a city. But because of corruption in PF, a mayor is not respected. A mayor says this shop is closed. And foreigner said it's not going to be closed. Why? Because of corruption. PF is all about corruption. Imagine how Zambia was going to be with PF for another five years. Another five good years with PF. Believe me, anywhere you see, anywhere you see uh, 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 anybody from PF, you must you must lie on the floor for them to pass. I feel pity. Ask me your question. Give me your questions. See, one is so enlightened. <laughs> Thank you. Give me your question. Is there any? Is there any question you want to ask me? Hmm? Today I was reading a letter. From the president. I saw it on, 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 on Facebook. A letter from the president where the president is saying, I'm not going to fire Chitali Chilufia because he's, uh, he's still not uh, proven guilty. Do you think that a court in Zambia, as rotten as Zambia government is today, can convict a sitting, a sitting a government official? It's not possible. What happened to Emos Chanda? Eh? What happened to Emos Chanda? Eddie Galungu, you fired Emos Chanda before he was proven guilty. You fired Chishimbakambuiri before he was proven guilty. What is special about Chitali Chilufia? There will be something very soon, very soon. You will tell us, you will tell us what you see in corruption. You, you will tell us. Believe me, next year, I believe that the president is watching what his friend is doing in Malawi. He must watch what his friend is doing in Malawi. Immediately he took off his. He stripped off the immunity of the former president, Mutarika. Stripped it off and started arresting the officials. Corrupt people. 
They must go to jail and return the money they stole from the people. That's what you must do. That's what you must do when you take over power next year. Zambian people are suffering because of massive corruption in PF. That's what you must do. You must do it. You must immediately you take over. Strip him off his immunity. And let him face the consequences. Uh, the, the case of uh, Emos Chanda must be revisited. The case of Zinda Basoko must be revisited. The, the case of uh, uh, Europea Banda must be revisited. Even the case of that, uh, 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 all of them must be revisited. Zambia cannot continue losing billions for nothing. Eh? They can't continue losing billions for nothing. As I'm talking to you today, Zambia is a house of pornography for foreigners. I swear. Zambia, for foreigners, as a, there are a lot of them there making pornography with young girls. And government is not doing anything about it. Young girls are making pornography. A lot of them in lodges, in hotels. Eh? And they can't do anything about it. The only thing they can do is, this one is a false prophet, deport him. Eh? This one is a false prophet, deport him. This one is a bushiri, is a false prophet, he will not come to our country. You bet, NJ, false prophet, he will not come to our country. Uh, 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 Jeremiah, he will not come to our country. That is, the, what, what crime? Is there foreigners are making pornography in your country? They are using young girls, they are sleeping with young girls and producing pornography and updating it, and you're not doing anything about it. The foreigners that are destroying your country, foreigners that are disobeying, disobeying the, the, the mayor, disobeying the government, you don't do anything to them. But if you see innocent people like us, you want to deport us, idiots. That woman that call herself the minister of a uh, religious affair. What are you doing? You didn't see what Kaiser Zulu wrote today. I've not, I've not heard you release a comment about that. You didn't see it. You didn't see that Chinese have turned your people to slaves. You can't make a comment about that. If it's Sia one, just Sia one. For me, just to worship what I want to worship. Just to be free and do what I want to do. To be free and perform my miracle. Then you say it's a satanist. You must leave our country. What did I do? If I did something wrong in your country, what did the Bushri do? If, I, if, if Bushri did something wrong in your country, what did you Betenje do? If you Betenje did something bad in your country, what did the Jeremiah do? You are an idiot. That post that they gave to you, eh? that post that they gave to you, and you are getting money, that money will take you to hell. Mm. That salary that you are collecting for doing nothing, that salary that you are collecting for doing evil, that salary that you are collecting for doing nothing, that salary is going to kill you. You, you call yourself a woman of religious affairs ministry. What are you? What are you religious in? What do you know about religion? You are seated there. PF is now campaigning all over, all over the country. That's why I also say they are stupid people. They don't even understand. They don't even reason. They don't have advisors. They behave like chicken without head. They, how can you start campaigning now when the election is next year? All these people that you are giving money, you are giving chitenge, you are giving all those things, they will eat it and still vote for UPND. You don't learn something from MMD. MMD campaigned like crazy people. MMD spent billions campaigning. They still lost the election. You don't learn something. Those money you are wasting now, why are you wasting them? Keep them. You will need them next year for court, court fee. Nobody will pay your court fee for you. You will need them. Stop spending them. You are not winning. Religious affair minister, that useless woman, that idiot, that woman, you are, you are there, PF is campaigning, and PF is saying there is COVID. PF is saying there is Corona. They are campaigning alone. You cannot sit them down and tell them that what you are doing to opposition is not good. When opposition want to go, just to go and do visiting, they will be arrested. They will be prevented. They will say there is corona. Your president goes and they gather thousands. Nothing happens. And you are there. You are not saying anything. Mama, you are an idiot. You are, you know, mama, that money you are collecting for free. That money that 
Zambian taxpayers money you are eating it and you call yourself a woman of God did you see what happened in Malawi where the judge said no I don't deserve I really don't deserve this uh, this uh, this post that is what is called a child of God not you you are a fool you are a daughter of Satan eh? you can't you 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 can't sit down with PF and tell them what you are doing is not good what you are doing is bad. Why are you a religious minister? You are just a religious minister to a point who is a false prophet, who is not a false prophet, who is a false prophet, who is not a false And you are eating money. That man is going to kill you. You. That man. Eh? You vomit it next year. You are a mama of corruption. You are a mama of corruption. You are a mother of corruption. That's what you are. That post that Eddie Galungu created for you. If you, are a, if you are a child of God, if you are born again, we are, you, are, you, are just, you are just going to tell him, no, it's not necessary. I am going to waste people's money for nothing. But you went there, you are there. Corona is all over in Zambia, according to you. But your president is campaigning up and down. His ministers are campaigning up and down. That chief boot licker, the one that gets paid for licking the boot of the president, Boman Lusambo, an anointed boot licker. A, a, a fool at 40. That one is he, he gets paid. People of the world, you are you are you are you are watching me today. There is a minister in Zambia that gets paid for licking the boot of the president. Highly personified boot licker. He gets paid for licking the boot of the president. Anywhere he goes, he campaigns. He gather hundreds of people. And mama corruption that call yourself the women, the, uh, the religious are feminist. You don't tell them to stop campaigning. If that be the case, allow everybody to campaign. Allow also uh, UPND to go and campaign. Allow NDC to go and campaign. Why are you campaigning alone? Election that is sure that you are going to leave, lose next year. Election that you are away, that you are losing. Election that you have lost already. Why are you campaigning? Mama, corruption. Foolish woman. A fool at 60. Eh? You can only fight prophets. Any prophet that rise up in Zambia, you fight that person. Any, I've never seen you fight Muslim. There are Muslims there. Muslims don't believe in Jesus. They do their own thing. They do their Allah. They do their own thing. You don't fight them. In every post in Zambia, you are seeing which doctor saying we are doing penis enlargement, we are doing abortion, we are doing this. You don't fight them. But once somebody rises as a prophet in Zambia, you bring her, you bring that person down. Mama Jezebel. Female version of Nebuchadnezzar. Next year, you will cry. Mm. You will cry. Believe me, you will cry. You see what PF are doing to my Sampa today? Mama Jezebel, Mama Corruption, Religious Affairs Minister, fool. You see what they are doing to my Sampa today? You can't release a statement. You can't tell them to give support to my Sampa. You can't. If he's a prophet that is doing... The reason why prophets are not progressing in Zambia, the reason why men and women of God in Zambia are local champions is because of you. If any one of them rises, you bring them down. You find a way to destroy them. Mama corruption. Mama corruption. Assistant corrupt leader. Eh? Mama corruption. Next year, you are going to suffer. You will not have job. You will not because that your ministry is useless. A ministry that does nothing than fighting men and women of God. It's a useless ministry. If you are wise, you can see that PF has, they have finished all the money in government. All the money is gone. There is no money. In, in, as I'm talking to you today, people are crying. Council workers are crying. They are going for months without being paid. If you are a woman of God like you claim, if you are a woman of God, you would have resigned so that they will use that money they waste on that your useless ministry. They will use that money and pay the workers that are really working. People are working. Every money they wake up, they take their bath, they go and work. At the end of the month, they will not get paid. But you are getting paid for doing nothing. Together with the chief bootlicker. 
that one that have decided to, to transfer boot leak into his innocent children. Children that don't know anything. Children that they have come in this world and they already cursed. Eh? They just came in this world and they didn't know that they were coming to somebody like uh, Boman Lusambo. They didn't know. If they knew that they were coming to get a name of boot leaking, they would never come. They have inherited. Name is powerful. They have been inherited. They, they, the way Boman Lusambo is licking the feet of Eddie Galongo is the same way his children will lick the feet of children of Eddie Galongo. What type of rubbish is this? What type of nonsense is this? Why must somebody get paid for leaking boot? That's the type of leadership in Zambia. What kind of leadership is this in Zambia? What is wrong? Eh? What is wrong? Eh? Children have come. Children have inherited boot licking because of a stupid father that has nothing upstairs apart from boot licking. Eh? Eh? What kind of rubbish is this? What, what kind of leadership is there in Zambia? Eh? And the, the thing with Eddie Galongo, anytime you are a leader and you enjoy being praised like God, you want to be praised like God, the people that praise you are the people that you bring close to you. That is the time you are going down. I'm telling you, all the people that tell Eddie Galongo truth in PF, they are nobody. All of them are nobody. All of them are doing nothing. But those that are licking his boot, those that are licking his corrupt shoes, those are the people that are close to him. What advice is Boman Lusambo going to give to Eddie Galung? If he, if, he has, if he has transferred boot licking to innocent children, children that don't know anything, they have just come on earth, they wake up tomorrow and grow up and see themselves answering Eddie Galung. Esther Lungu, they will ask themselves, what is this name for? They will tell them that your father, because he was a boot licker, he gave you a boot licking name. Stupid, stupid, stupid decision. Eh? What is going on? What is going on in Zambia? What is really, really happening in Zambia? Everything is shattered. Everything is destroyed. Everything. Let me see a Zambian again laughing at Malawi. Today, Malawi is laughing at Zambia. Everything was okay. Everything was okay. Everything was going well in Zambia. Today, government is want to borrow money from IMF. They call it emergency relief. The one you borrowed before, the bond that you borrowed before, where, what did you do with it? All the money that you have been borrowing from China. You want to run to IMF. China is no longer giving you money. Because you can't pay China. Now you want to run to IMF. Even if IMF gives to you, what are you going to do with it? Few people will eat it. Zambian people will continue suffering. The best country in the world, a country with vast natural resources. Hmm? But thief, I'm drubbery. Eh? Their, their, their light corruption mm -hmm. has destroyed the country. Hmm? Eh? Eh? Tomorrow, I am going to the studio by Limpopo TV there. The TV station that we have launched today is already on DSTV. I will show you. You are going to see Chile in your eye. You see those villages where you say uh, the people in town now they know our corruption. Lusaka people know our corruption. Copper Belt people they know our corruption. Let us concentrate in the rural area. You will be shocked. Rural area, they will watch me on TV telling them how corrupt you are. Corrupt fools. People that are getting salary for doing nothing. Getting salary for doing nothing. Eh? A, a, a president without a vision. It's so shocking that today a president is saying, I'm releasing 30 million to empower the youth. After six good years in office. And you think that I, I, I just feel sorry for some of those youths that are excited. There are some of those youths that are happy. Uh, our president has blessed us. Our president, he didn't bless you. What is 30 million? 
30 million is nothing. That's why I tell you, as a Zambian youth, travel, travel. Sometimes leave Zambia and travel. Sometimes leave Zambia and go to another country and see what is happening in another country. 30 million is a chicken change. 30 million is what somebody used to buy a car for the girlfriend. Edgar Lungu release it to the youths just because they use their eyes are open. Eh? I'm empowering the, the artist. I'm empowering the artist with 30 million and you want them to clap for you. Tasila alone, how much is Tasila worth? Tasila Lungu. Tasila Lungu. How much is Tasila worth? Eh? Is Tasila not more than 30 million? What is 30 million to Tasila? Why you don't give it to Tasila alone? Because she's already rich. All your children are very rich. We know them. We know what they benefited from. We will talk very, very soon. You're, you will know that we are, we are wiser than you. Nonsense. I give the youth 30 million. Then you want them to start jumping. I give the artists. And uh, of course, some stupid among them, uh, stupid fools among them are already jumping. Eh? Every day, cry, cry baby is on is on is live on Facebook. I don't know who taught him how to go live on Facebook. Every minute is on Facebook. He's happy. He's just, that money he will not even see it. <laughs> Me, I know Eddie Galungu. Eddie Galungu is a talk talk. <laughs> he's a promise and fail. <laughs> he's a jagaban of lie, <laughs> jagaban of corruption. <laughs> the same way he promised to open Mulingushi Textile, <laughs> the same way he promised to create 500,000 jobs, the same way he promised to do this and do that, and he didn't do it. That's the same way the money will go. He's so greedy, he's not giving to you. Even if he will give to you, it's because he's watching me now. He wants to remove shame from his face. I know him. <laughs> Don't, you are excited because of 30 million. <laughs> <laughs> 30 million <laughs> Edgar promise promised and you believe <laughs> so you know I, I, the person who taught cry cry baby how to use a Facebook has made a very big mistake <laughs> because he's, he's too happy <laughs> you can see he's too happy <laughs> he's, he just said 30 million People that have seen money before, when they see, when they hear 30 million, it look like nothing. Ask me your question, let me answer. I don't know who taught him how to do Facebook Live. That person made a very big mistake. <laughs> travel and say no. You must travel. You must travel. You must actually go to Nigeria. I'm telling you, those of you that say Nigeria is this, what you see on TV. One thing you must know about us and media, especially foreign media, is that foreign media will never show you good part of Africa. Al Jazeera will never show you nice places. If you, if you want Al Jazeera to come and cover Zambia, they will go to the compound and cover Zambia. They will not go to Manda Hill. They will not go to Arcades. They will not go to Levy Park. They will not go to nice place. They will go to uh, uh, places like uh, uh, Mississi Compound. They will go to Chiboya. They will go to Mtendere. That's where they will go and cover. The same way as Nigeria. If you tell uh, Al Jazeera or BBC or CNN to come and cover Nigeria, they will go and cover villages. They will never tell you that there is actually Nigeria is the only country that has the most, the most number of people that have private jets. They will never show you Ikoi. They will never show you Banana Island. They will never show you. Uh, 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 they will never show. They will. They, they will never show you. They will never show you. They will show you bad things about Africa. So when you are watching, you will not even know. You will say, Ah, Nigeria is bad. Travel. Go to Nigeria. When I say go to Nigeria, don't just go to Ikotun and say you have got. Go to Nigeria. Go to Abuja. Travel. Zambian people. Leave your country. Go to South when you when you tell Al Jazeera to show you South Africa, they will go to Soweto. They will never show you something. They will never tell you that actually South Africa is more beautiful than so many countries in Europe. They will never tell you. So if you don't travel, you will not see. 
If you don't travel, you will not see. That's why many of you Zambians are jealous of the ladies that are traveling. When you see a lady traveling, say, I'm going to Dubai, you say they are going for prostitution. That's why you will not grow up. When you see a lady traveling to say, I'm going to Malaysia, no, they are going for prostitution. You must also stand up and start prostituting if, if traveling is all about prostitution. Because you can't just be born in Zambia and die in Zambia. How are you going to explore the world? You must rise up and start exploring the world. Leave your country. Leave your country. Eh? Travel. Travel. Take a journey. Even to ordinary Tanzania, there go. Ordinary Namibia, there go. Don't just wake up, you are born in Zambia and you die in Zambia. It means you don't know what you are doing. Travel. Start traveling. If you are traveling, believe me, you will know what is happening in Africa. You are there in Zambia. Like, for example, many of you are saying, Chela was arrested. Many of you are saying, Chela will go to prison. Chela will go to jail. Go to jail for what? Chela was not even supposed to be arrested because he committed a libel. A libel crime. The people he mentioned were supposed to sue him. Hmm? He was not even going to supposed to spend time in jail because he was not corrupt. He didn't steal anything. He just spoke. Hmm? That's why I'm begging Edgar Lungu to come here and sue me in International Criminal Court. Let me teach him how to, how to be a human being. Let me teach him law because he's a Chajambe lawyer. He's a Jaka Jaka lawyer. He's a lawyer of Chajambe. <laughs> he don't understand law. That's why I'm begging them. So we, are, we are going to sue Siawan. Sue me. Let me teach you something. If you don't travel, you will not know your right. You will just think that everything is okay in Zambia. It doesn't end in Zambia. Learn to travel. Learn to leave your country and travel to another person's country. You can see, cry, cry, baby, saying, Siawan is in exile. Meaning he doesn't know what exile is. Because he doesn't travel. He doesn't. He just enter bus here and come to South Africa and become a backup singer and go back and call himself a human being. Don't know nothing. Hmm? You must travel. Hmm? You must travel. Please begin to travel. When you travel, you learn something. Ask me your questions. Ask me your questions. He said, Judge and Bay lawyer. Ed Galungu is Mr. Ibu lawyer. You know nothing. And that's why I'm saying, sue me so that you come here. Me, I will come with lawyers just for lawyer's sake. But I want to sit down and talk for you to see on camera. For the whole world to see that the guy know nothing about law. <laughs> Together with his lawyers in Zambia, they know nothing. Together with his advisors, they know nothing. If he knows something, he cannot just watch me and start empowering the youth by giving them 30 million. No! If he was wise, if I was to advise him, even for one week, Zambia will be London. It's very simple. You don't need to carry 30 million and give to the youth and say you have empowered the youth. That is rubbish. You, you shouldn't even announce because you know that you have failed for six good years. The next thing you are supposed to do is to open a TV station for them. That is a very big investment. Open a TV station for them. Those guys have talent. Slap D, Mac 2, Pilato, eh, B Flow. All these musicians, they have serious talent. Open a TV station for them and put it on DSTV. Let it be an international TV station. Let people watch and invite them. The more they are going to other people's country, the more they are bringing dollars into your country, the more your, 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 your country is growing. The more the GDP is growing, the more they are contributing to the economy. And the more it's happening, and the more others are seeing how prosper they are, others will join music, others will join act, others will start acting. That way you empower the youths. Empower millions of them at once. But you carry 30,000 and give them. Just look at the son of the house, cry, cry, baby. Just look at the excitement. <laughs> it's not a PF spokesperson. In fact, it's nothing. It's just an idiot. A fly that follows. If Bob and Lusambo has 20 rand, he will follow Bob and Lusambo. If a, 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 a Tishimbakamburi is having 20 rand, he will follow Tishimbakamburi. Even today, if a church managed to release 10 rand for him, he will follow a church. Because he doesn't have. Cry, cry, baby, don't have. <laughs> It's it. 
<laughs> ah, Edigalungu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me your question. <laughs> Talk about the issue of national NRS. I'm following. I saw where the district commissioner was issuing uh, the, the NRC on uh, Luapula somewhere there. This is why I say, why is Edigalungu down? Why are people that are advising him very down? I think he must, the same way he has gone to uh, contract people that are going to advise them on debt repayment, he should also go and contract people that have sense. There is no one in PF that has sense. If there is anyone in PF that has sense, let me explain something to you. In 2015, Eddie Galungu won election because of Satan. People voted for him because of Satan, not because of him. In 2016, people voted for him because of Satan. Because people said, one year is not enough. Let's give him a chance to complete the project of Satan. They voted for him in 2016. Few people. This is 2020, and next year is 2021. Ed Galungu won election with just 100,000 votes, few hundred thousand votes. Tell me today, as it is, how many teachers are unemployed in Zambia that are looking for opportunity to vote out Ed Galungu? Answer that question. There are thousands, right? Okay. Tell me how many council workers are going months without being paid. There are thousands, right? Okay. Tell me how many disgruntled youths in Lusaka alone that are waiting to vote next year. Are they not in hundreds of thousands? Lusaka alone. Let's not talk about Copper Belt. Eh? Are they not in thousands? Okay, tell me those retirees and their family that have been crying for years without getting their salaries, are they not in, in thousands, hundreds of thousands? Edgar Lungu is going to lose next year's election in millions. You saw how Malawi president lost. Me, I don't joke. When I tell you something, believe it. I analyze something physically and I analyze it spiritually. When I tell you somebody is not going anywhere, take my word. I said it in Malawi and it happened. I'm saying it with Eddie Galungu. Eddie Galungu's family will not even vote for him. Just this little analysis that I've given to you. How many nurses finished school and they are not employed? Are they not in thousands? All these people are not going to vote for Eddie Galungu. Even, even, even if today I stop talking until next year election, Eddie Galungu is going to lose terribly. I'm telling you, how many people are crying because of corruption in the whole country? Eddie Galungu won election with only, only hundreds of thousands. And with all the spiritual manipulation, <laughs> physical manipulation which will not happen again next year. Tell me how Eddie Galungu is going to win election. Even if Eddie Galungu goes to Luapula and register all the people in Luapula and issue them a, a, a NRC, he will still not win. What? I, I, I've, I've said it before. I, this one, even if, okay, even if you, you, you don't want to believe me in the spiritual perspective, believe me in the physical perspective. Eddie Galungu won election with 100,000 votes only. Then I'm asking you, how many teachers are looking for employment and they are not getting employment? Most of them want to be employed and they are telling them to pay bribe. They are crying. Their families are crying. You think they wake up and bath to go and vote for Eddie Galungu next year? Follow my analysis very, very well. This one is a physical analysis. Forget about spiritual things. Retirees are in thousands. Their families are in thousands. Do you think they will vote for Eddie Galungu next year? Disgruntled youth, how many are there? Are there not millions? You think they will vote for Eddie Galungu next year? If Eddie Galungu is wise, if he was wise, if I was him, if I was advising him, I was just going to tell him, to step down. 
because he's going to be embarrassed next year. Believe me, he will lose a way that he has never. They, they, they may try everything to league. Even if you register all the all the people in this in the in prison, how many are there? Eh? How many are there? The vote next year, the election next year is not between UPND and PF, or between PF and NDC, or between uh, 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 PF and the AD. No, it's between the people of Zambia that are suffering and the AD. I know that next year during the election they will remove load shedding. They will remove, they will try to put things in order. But the, the handwriting is on the wall. That's why I'm saying all those money that you are spending going to campaign now, reserve those money. You will need them to pay lawyers next year. <laughs> I've, I've made my analysis. You will see it for yourself. <laughs> okay, come and tell me. Ask me questions. Who are you? I am Sia One. Talk about prisoners to vote. Whether prisoners vote, they don't vote, they are gone. <laughs> they are gone. Even PF people, PF people today want to vote. Even that thing, they are calling beaten, beaten, beaten. There are a lot of PF MPs that I know that are talking to me today. They will not vote for beaten. That's why I don't know why people are scared of beaten. PF people, PF MPs will not vote for beaten. <laughs> Forget it. PF people are crying. PF people are suffering. The people that fought for PF, the people that suffered for PF, the people that did everything for PF, they are suffering. The people that are join, enjoying PF are people that came to hijack it. Hijackers. Those are people that are, are benefiting in PF. Others are not benefiting. Look at the bootlicker. The one that does bootlicking for a living. Those are the people that are benefiting. That's why it's close to the president. That's why he's able to name innocent children that know nothing about anything. He has already given them a case. Eh? Okay, you have called them Edgar Galungu. Edgar Galungu, you don't know his character. Eh? What about your TV station? My TV station is already launched today. After this program, scan your TV, scan your uh, DSTV decoder. We are now on DSTV. Tomorrow, we are going on free to air for people to watch it worldwide. I am a Jacobin. I told you 1st of July I will do it. And it's there already. Do you see HH making a part with Chishimbakamwil? Of course. They must come together. Not only Chishimbakamwil. All the opposition must come together. I know whether they come together or they don't come together, PF is gone next year. But they must come together and work together. Talk about Zambia National House of Prayer. That's a useless thing. That's stupidity. Prayer for what? And I hear Zambia is a Christian nation. There is no country that is a Christian nation. God does not call country. God calls individuals. Salvation is personal. You can never force a whole country to be Christian. It's a lie. If Zambia is a Christian nation, what are Muslims doing in Zambia? There are witch doctors in Zambia. What are they doing in Zambia? There is nothing like a Christian nation. There is no country on earth, not even Israel, that is a Christian nation. That is useless. That is an idea of timid people. That is an idea of slavery. You can never force the whole country to worship God because you are convinced that Christians will go to heaven and Muslims will go to hell. You are, it means you are mad. You are mad. If you put Christianity ahead of Muslim, you put Christianity ahead of other religion, it means you are mad. Believe me. It means you are mad. How about our forefathers that didn't accept Jesus? You are telling me they have gone to hell. Billions of them, they have gone to hell. How big is that hell? If that hell existed, by now it is already full. It's full to capacity because billions of people have gone there according to your religion. If there is hell and our forefathers that didn't accept Jesus have gone to hell, then let's forget about hell because hell is full. It's already full to capacity. That's rubbish. There is no country on earth that's supposed to answer Christian nation. God does not call country. God calls individual. That's why the Bible says, I go and knock at your door. If you hear and open, I will enter. He didn't say I'm going to combat the whole country. It's a lie.
Why is our vice president mute this day? As that one is our own concern. As, as old as she is, these are the people that are supposed to be directing the country how it's supposed to be. Hmm? But her, she's, babysit she's been babysitted. She's not saying anything. She's watching, she's watching the, the whole country, a nice country, country that was coming up to be the best country in the world, that was coming up to be the best country in Africa, being destroyed by Edi Galungu, and she's quiet. And she calls herself Mama Vice President. That's rubbish. Come, give me your question. Yes, uh, this is life. Give me a question. Why do you always talk about Zambia and who is going to win 2021 election? I talk about Zambia because I love Zambia so much and I was part of Zambia. I was in there. I was there. I cannot talk about the countries that I don't know anything about their politics. I don't know anything about their leaders. I talk about Zambia because I know them and they know me. We they put sunk together for Zambia. Harry, God bless you for me. God calls individual, not country. God does not call countries. It's not possible. God calls individuals. There is no country that will say we are a Christian nation. It's rubbish. <laughs> it's nonsense. <laughs> Mili J, yes, Papa. God bless you. Papa, the president wants to pay bill for all the civil servants. That's useless. You don't know your president. That's the problem. Your president is a tokaholic. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> Promiser. <laughs> he will promise heaven and earth because now he's desperate to win election next year, which is not going to win. Get ready for promise. He's even going to tell you that Zambian people, I am going to make you Dubai of Africa next year. You get ready for fake promises. He's failing to pay the retirees. Six years in office. He failed to empower the youths. The youth minister, that idiot had the God to come on TV and say, this is when we are planning for the youths. Can you imagine? After six good years. Huh. Anyway. Papa, can you please kill them? I'm not going to kill them. They must be alive next year and cry. I want to see how they cry. When HH wins, are you going to visit Zambia? I'm not going to visit Zambia. Watch their comment. What, what am I going to come and do in Zambia? I've said it before. Business, visit, church, you will not see my leg in Zambia. If I just said it without taking an oath with Godfather, I may change my mind. But since I've told you that in the name of Godfather, I'm not coming to Zambia. I'm not. You will never see me there. The president released 30 million for the artist. That's stupidity. Okay, you have released 30 million for the artist. Meaning the whole artist in Zambia, a target, Mike Chulufia Sata target is better than them. <laughs> what more than them? <laughs> fire track. All the whole artists in Zambia is equal to one fire track in Zambia. <laughs> I don't know. Anybody who advised the Galungu must resign also. You have destroyed that man's image. <laughs> Him also, I thought he was wise. He just jumped up and down like a <laughs> crocodile that <laughs> left the water. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> through Jagaban, why are you quiet sometimes? Sometimes I'm doing a lot of things, you know. I, we are monitoring the election of Malawi, making sure that opposition wins the election. Mm. just come and visit when a church wins. No, I'm not going to come there. And people are saying, no, see, Awan is, is talking because he, he don't want his prophecy over Zambia to fail. I don't care. If I prophesy, it fails. That's not my concern. I've prophesied before it fails. I'm still tall. I'm still eating. I'm still talking. It's not my concern. If I prophesy, it doesn't come to pass. You will not come and slap me. When I talk, I know what I'm talking about. Tell them, my guy, God bless you. You have opened the eyes of Zambia and Africa, especially when it comes to religion. People have woken up from slumber. God bless you. Thank you. The level of knowledge in you is too much. Okay, God bless you. 
people want to give you heroes welcome but unfortunately i'm not going to come to zambia see how one you've killed me with laughter i'm sorry for that christabel why is he not paying retirees their money he's failing to pay retirees their money and he's saying he wants to take over loans <laughs> stupidity <laughs> the joke the the zambia you know that guy actually is us it's all of us that are contributed to what is going on that man openly said i don't have a vision for i do not have a vision for the country and we we made him we carried the country and gave to him that's why we are suffering what we are suffering today let me say something zambia will be rich zambia will be if i tell you the amount of money that his politicians are looting and sending abroad you will not believe it edgar lungu we have seen him that one is a papa corruption that one is a jagaban of corruption because People just loot money and they know nothing is going to happen. Like, look at Chilifia Chitalo. Chilifia Chitalo is every day, every is clear. Even Chilifia Chitalo was talking to him the other day, saying, You collected 200. It's clear. A person that carried the contract and award the country, a, a, a company that never existed, the president is saying, No, I'm not going to fire him. Okay, His Excellency. Jagaban of corruption. If you don't want to fire him, suspend him. If you suspend him, law enforcement agencies will now have the audacity to interrogate him. You can see the one that was, I don't know if it's the spokesperson for the ACC. The day he was giving a statement that they arrested Chilifia Chitalu, he was shaking, he was fidgeting. You can see he was not comfortable. Imagine Chilifia Chitalu was not there. And he was giving a, a press briefing. He was shaking like he, he soaked in a cold water. And he was shaking. He was not comfortable. Imagine what will happen when he faces Chilifia Chitalu. You think he can be able to interrogate him? If you don't want to sus uh, uh, fire him because it's a speculation, suspend him. Give way for proper investigation. He says, Excellency, humble man. <laughs> Give us your, 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 your question, please. <laughs> but you won't say that you are going to come to Zambia. I said I'm not coming. I discovered that men and women of God were Ivanka Bianca. Adopt me, please. <laughs> I will. I discovered that men and women of God were shaking. And even Mr. Simon, he said when HH win election, CIA1 will come and people in Zambia will worship CIA1. I'm not God. I'm not Godfather. I don't deserve to be worshipped. Just because of that, I said I'm not coming. I don't want men, of, men and women of God to feel uncomfortable saying, Ah, CIA1 will come back here and take over our church. When I was in Zambia, let me use the opportunity to address this. Uh, 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 I heard the cry cry baby say Sia one was being kept by a woman. And many people were asking me that question. Cry cry baby say Sia one was being kept by a woman. When I was in Zambia, I didn't have a wife. The woman is talking about is he my wife? My mother was not in Zambia. My mother did not step her foot in Zambia. Or who? Cry cry baby says here one was broke. In Zambia alone, I want to show you, I want to show you things. Watch this. I want to show you these things. Many of you don't know who Siawan is. Many of you don't know uh, who Jagaban is. Let me show you something a little bit that happened when I was in Zambia. Uh, where are they saved? Uh, when I was in Zambia, this this uh, if you see that my Range Rover that Kings drives, don't send me a message because if you send me a message, people will read your message and they will start posting it and start fighting you. They say, "This is uh, my Range Rover. This is the car that Kings is driving today. This is my compound in Zambia." 
I littered my company with fleets of cars. Fleets of cars. Fleets of cars. Including this Range Rover that Kings is driving today. This one. That is it. This Range Rover was bought here in South Africa because this is a, is customized. It's not a regular Range Rover. It's customized Range Rover. Was bought here in South Africa by Bongani Holdings. It's not even ordinary Range Rover. Look at it. Look at it. And uh, Kings today is saying Sia One was being kept by a woman. Let me show you another thing. He says Sia One was broke. This was uh, in uh, this was in October two thousand and six. I gave out four good cars. This is not today. Look at just look at that. Look at that. I gave out four good cars. And these are the cars. That is me there. That is me there. That is Sia one there. I gave out this car, including this BMW. At a point, I gave Kings Malembe Malembe this BMW to use it to campaign for Edgar Lungu. The Jagaban of Corruption. I gave out four good cars. This was 2000. 2000 and uh, and uh, 16 look at the date look at the date again look at the date okay i want to show you something again uh in 2017 this is mwebantu news media this is mwebantu news media this is first april 2017 first april 2000 and 17. In Zambia, I had the single largest congregation. The single largest congregation. There was no church in Zambia that could compete with me in crowd. The offering from a Sunday service can feed cry cry babies generation. If I wanted a single offering. Me, I don't like to accuse people. I don't like to talk things that uh, do not exist. I always love to say the truth. Okay, here, this is my house. This thing appeared on my band. In Zambia, I had so much money that I used to pack hundreds of thousands of kwacha to go to the street and give to street people. Mwebantu social media is aware of what I'm talking about. He can bear me witness because he was carrying these stories. See, a one was broke. See, a one was being kept by a woman. This is see, a one. See, a one was a multi millionaire in Zambia. I don't like to brag. I don't even love to talk about all these things. Okay, cry, cry, baby. Who is this person here? Who is that person? Who is that person? Cry Cry Baby was following me all over like a fly. Anywhere I go, kings will follow me. He never had food. I was giving him food. He never had clothes. I was giving him clothes. Look at him. Is that not a, is that not a, a Cry Cry Baby there? That is me and Cry Cry Baby. All the men of God in Zambia rejected him. I accepted him. I accepted him. Today, he says, see, one was broke. People of God. Somebody that was having the largest congregation in Zambia. Are you telling me that uh, I can fail to, to, to keep myself? There was no man of God that was richer than me in Zambia. That is him there. He was following me. Even here in South Africa, I have re uh, 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 I've retrieved a footage where even when I was deported, he followed me to my lodge in Rustenburg with a lady called Rachel. Rachel is a living witness. I think she's watching now. 
Kings only survive by bootlicking. Everybody in Zambia, men and women of God, we are calling, see, one is a satanist. He is always coming to me to say, even if you are a satanist, give me money. I used to give him money. That's why he was following me up and down. <laughs> cry, cry, baby. This is my house in Zambia. <laughs> that is me there. <laughs> I used to play with cars. <laughs> that's my that's my machine there. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, can a person like this, those of you who know Sia One in Zambia, my members will tell you that Sia One is a money player. <laughs> I carry money in my boot, in the boot of my car. I go to the street, I give to people. I carry money, I give to people. I was helping people. I spent millions of money helping people. So when you say Sia One was being kept by a woman, Kept by a woman, I managed to secure 2,000 tickets for you, for your music, for the launch of your music. I bought it. And everyone know. <laughs> so why talking about C1? I don't want to talk about uh, fools like kings. It's so hungry. It's so poor. Even if you see the curtain, just look at the curtain in his house. You can see that this guy is really suffering. Look at the setting in his house. The setting in his house. Just also take a look at uh, uh, the way he's excited about the 30 million. You will know that the guy is poor. I have cursed his music. I have destroyed his music. Completely. You can just sing from here to it will end on Facebook. It will not go anywhere. Until I'm done with him. Anything, anybody I'm working on. Anyone that I'm working on. Anyone that I'm working on. Oh, forget. Even Jesus will not deliver that person. Forget. Kings is gone. It's poor. Hmm? He said, cry, cry. He said, he said, look at him. When you look at him, you will know that there is poverty. It's too, it's too strong in him. So I've answered this question because so many people, we are disturbing me. Kings is saying you, a woman was kept you. Which woman can keep me? Eh? The money only that I was getting from politicians. <laughs> Uh, anyway, give me your questions again. Yes, Papa, you used to drop money on the street. I used to drop money on the street. I used to throw money around on the street. Give people money. Take. What is money? <laughs> I had it. Listen. I've said it before. I've even told Zambian government to investigate me. Go to Zanaco Bank. Zanaco Bank. That one in Twin Pamo. Ask them about C1. I used to carry money in plastic. I don't, I don't like... If I talk now, it will look like I'm boasting. I, I don't like boasting. I am a person that, uh, that love to be... Love people. I know. I love to be humble. I don't like to boast. <laughs> Do you wish we were a Zambian? No. If I was a Zambian, I was going to be a president by now. <laughs> because the people that are ruling Zambia know nothing. Like Eddie Galungu, know nothing. Talk about J. Israel. How about J. Israel? I, did, I don't know. I don't watch his program. I didn't. Anybody that take it upon himself to expose men and women of God is looking for an attention. It's an attention seeker. You can never expose men and women of God. It's not possible. You can't expose men and women of God. There is no way. What are you going to say about men of God? Oh, men of God are sleeping with other women. And so what? David was sleeping with women and he was still a man after God's own heart. If you read your Bible very well, the Bible says the day he died, they brought a virgin to him to check if he can wake up because of a virgin. God does not use us because of our righteousness. No, men of God are, are, men of God are faking miracles. And so what? And so what? How, how is it easy for you to believe that Jesus walked on water? 
Were you there? Why do you believe it? How did you know that it's not fake? How did you know that those people that wrote that thing are saying the truth? Eh? They say Jesus spoke to 5,000 men and fed 5,000 men. How did he manage to speak to them without a microphone? And you believed it because a white man wrote it. If men of God are faking miracles and these things are happening, let them continue faking. If men of God are faking prophecies, clap your hand. By the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, these people, these Nollywood actors that are acting Nigerian movies, when they finish acting, they become millionaires. They become trillionaires. They, they get a lot of money. And even they win award. And we clap for them for acting very, very well. Why don't you clap for men of God for acting very, very well? What is different between acting of a man of God and acting of uh, uh, the people you clap for? People get paid for acting. So if men of God are acting and faking miracles, you must clap hand for them because they are acting very well. That's rubbish. I don't subscribe to somebody that speak evil against men and women of God. To me personally, I don't talk about anybody. If I talk about you, it means you started me. I don't just wake up and they uh, and, uh, start... So anyone you see criticizing, like J. Israel, who is saying, we, he, we used to fake miracle, and so what? And so what? How are you sure that Jesus did not fake walking on water? How are you sure? Because he's a white man, you believe it. Bonke came here all the way from Germany and millions of people gather. And they say he performed miracle and he will believe it because he's a white man. Benny he removed his suit, he pour it on people and people are falling. We clap for him because he's a white man. If a black man does it, you say it's fake. You are an idiot. You are a fool. J. Israel was asking me for power. It's me, it's, it's me who I told Godfather, this guy one power. We charge him 3,000 US dollars. He was asking me for power. We charge him 3,000 US dollars to give him supernatural power. He couldn't pay it. Then he wants to rise up and say, eh, this man of God is fake. This man of God is fake. He's looking for attention. He doesn't have a church. His church has collapsed. Believe me. If Bushri is faking miracle and the things are happening, why don't clap for him? If Aflokawu is acting miracle, what he's doing is fake. Why don't clap for him? He's not the only one acting. Actors act and get paid. Then how come men of God act? You come and fight them. Anyone, 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 anyone that speak against men and women of God is an idiot. Men of God are sleeping with women. You want them to sleep with men so that you call them gay. They are human beings. If they can't control themselves, that's their own concern. You don't have the right to talk against it. Because even you, you do. You do. J. Israel is a fucker. J. Israel, there is not... It, forget, I don't even want to talk about that idiot. I don't have time. I'm talking... I'm, me, I talk about countries. I don't have time to talk about somebody who, that doesn't have a ministry. He doesn't have a ministry. So don't tell me J. Israel mentioned my name. He can, he's asking me for power. Somebody who is asking me for power. And then he's talking about is, this one is fake. This one is fake. Fake for what? Eh? Those are very important faking. If a man of God fake prophecy and fake it very well, clap for that person. It's not easy to fake. You think it's easy to fake? Eh? Ah, forget about those things, my friend. When, um, when somebody's ministry is collapsed, they start looking for attention. That man of God is fake. That man of God is fake. And you are real. Who is a real man of God? Mention one man of God you, that you call real on earth. Let me see. How many women did J. Israel sleep with? Even up to today. How many women is he sleeping with? Eh? See his dress code. Is that how a man of God is supposed to dress? Eh? Just because he has run out of money, he's frustrated, he doesn't even have a church, he doesn't even have members, now he wants to implicate everybody. Eh? Eh, eh, Pastor Af is fake. Pastor Af is faking miracle. Those people are faking miracle. He's faking miracle and he still has thousands of people. He's better than you. By far. By far. 
is better, is far better, is 100% better than you because he's still having thousand. He has nice houses, nice cars. It's better than you. You that is not faking, show us your achievement. It's better to fake and succeed than to be real and be nothing. You're an idiot to mention my name. Give me your, 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 your question. <sighs> Jagaban, you are right. Of course. Because on earth today you can see men of God and the people that always talk about this fake are black people. We are fighting ourselves over something that white people gave to us. White people themselves don't even take this Christianity serious. White people don't take church serious like the way we take it serious. They don't kill themselves because of Jesus Christ. The same people that killed our brothers, our fathers, and forefathers, they are the same people that brought us Christianity. And we are fighting over what, what, what is even useless. We, we, we talk about holiness when white people are not holy. White people don't take this thing that we do serious. They don't. We can't, I can't, you can't, we can't come and fight ourselves because of what white people gave to us. Let me tell you something. If Christianity was true, and if heaven was true, white man will never bring Bible to you. Take my word. If Christianity was true, and it was beneficial, and there was heaven, eh? white man will never give you Bible. He will hide it from a black man. So continue killing yourself for something that does not exist. Continue fighting men and women of God. Continue calling them fake, and you are the real. And you let me see. You go to heaven. You think if heaven is there, a white man will give you Bible. You think if heaven is there, a white man will show you the way. <laughs> you are a fool. You don't know white people. <laughs> Continue fighting, fighting yourself for something that does not exist. <laughs> mm. Jagaban, love you. You talk the truth. God bless. DSTV number. I'm going to publish it on my page tomorrow. You are real, and I believe you, Jagaban, help Bali win election next day. I'm not going to help him. He win election naturally. All the things I gave to PF, I took them back. That's why you can see confusion. From that day, I mentioned about PF. From that day, I spoke about it. Have you seen PF winning, uh, 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 uniting again? Have you seen PF doing anything again? PF is dead completely. You can see confusion here. PF is dead. People's eyes are open. Zambian people, their eyes are open. They are no longer sleeping like before. What are you drinking? Coca-Cola. God bless. Mao Sampa. What is what, are, what about Mao Sampa? Brenda Chama. Papa, who was gassing Zambia? Eddie Galungu must tell us. Eddie Galungu must tell us. <laughs> he must tell us. See, one, you are the lion of Africa. God bless you. Please don't stop talking. We love you. God bless you. Jacoban, you are a real man. God bless you. Jacoban, you are right. God bless you. Mili J. Papa, you are honest. Of course. God bless you. If heaven was real, it, it would have kept secret. You don't know. <laughs> uh, continue playing with white people. <laughs> continue fighting yourself over what they gave you. They, it would have, they would have hidden Bible if heaven existed. Eh? And imagine the same people that brought us this Bible are not these white people that we are seeing today. Are the same people that we are selling our forefathers, that we are killing our forefathers, that we are raping our mothers. Those are the same people that brought Bible. The same way they hated our forefathers. You think they would have brought Bible for, for you so that you can go to heaven. And live with them in heaven. You are joking. <laughs> it don't exist. Forget those rubbish. <laughs> are you in a house or a car? I'm in a house. I'm in my bedroom. I was going to show you around now. But I don't want to brag. <laughs> I don't want to. You inspire and inspire speaking. God bless you. Believe you 100% Jagaban. Just wondering how the motorbike on that shit moves. Mm -hmm. 
see our one you say people should call you on video hey, hey this is very very important if you want to get the do as i say material for miracle money for for i do a lot of miracle money i'm going to post some videos and some some things tomorrow using the do as i say product if you want that product or you want product for healing or any product don't you ever send money to me or to anybody without requesting for a video call there are people that are using my name to steal money in zambia there are too many now there is one that created an account that's called prophetic seer so many accounts they say see i want to send me a moses fury uh, there is another chilombo and there is another woman these people are claiming to be working with see one no there is no one in zambia there is no one person in zambia that is representing me or giving people do as i say no i don't ask you to call anybody in zambia if you want the product, you there is a number on my page. You call that number or send me a message on that number. Say, I want miracle money product. I want debt cancellation. I want this. You, I tell you what to do. You call me on video and see my face. If you don't see my face, don't make your payment. Don't send your money. People are losing millions in Zambia. Please be careful. Talk about this man, the chairman of ECZ. In a in next year election, this is how we are going to do it. HH, I believe you are watching, or maybe people close to you are watching. Youth of Zambia, I believe you are watching. You see what happened in Malawi. You see what happened in Malawi. Make sure that your vote is protected. Make sure that you have a lot of monitors. In all the polling stations, you have a lot and a lot and a lot, a lot and a lot of monitors that monitor the results. Any result they are sending from the polling station, the people at Mulungushi or anywhere must verify it. Edgar Lunga has already lost the election. Esso Chilu or whoever is going to announce is going to announce what is given to. I have already seen what is going to happen. I've already seen how the Galungo cried. In my next broadcast, I'm going to give the way forward on how to tackle rigging during the election. Papa Chinese are going to mistreat us even beyond 2021. If Edgar Galungo had to win, Zambia was going to be slave to China. But thank God, Aka Indechilema is going to win. And they must sit down with the Chinese and tell them how to do business in Africa. See, I want to go deeper. God bless you. Talk about Chela, please. See, I want to thank you for exposing this PF Mugus. Of course, I will always be there too. Papa, you are right. Here in Germany, Italy don't go to church. Not only Italy, in China, they don't go to church. But they, without China, to Africa will not survive. We pray. We pray from money to night and we are stay poor Africa. After praying, we'll go and borrow money from China. You think white people are so full to give you Bible if it was so beneficial. I, I'm not against God. I know God. I know that God created me. I have a personal relationship with him. A relationship that I don't need any white man to tell me how to get to him. Like people that come to me, they say, see, I, want, I need miracle money. I never pray for anybody. I give you the product. You, you use the product. Your miracle money happened to you. People say it's magic. I'm going to post some videos tomorrow. People say it's magic. Uh, see one is a magic. If it's magic and you are rich, it's a very important magic. Even white people come here and collect that magic. I'm following you, Papa. See one, I love you. Come, Bechamba. God bless you. Suarez. See one, I love you. God bless you. Any other uh, desire, Esther, from Namibia in the job? Okay. Any other question? Question, any other question? Jagaban, buy me a Kadesh TV. Okay. See, I have not received miracle money. Sometimes when I come online, I, I post something about miracle money. Claim it. 
it happens to you. But if you want a guaranteed miracle money, if you want a guaranteed miracle money, there is a product for it. That product is on my website, www.prophecy1cfm.com. You go to the store, you find all the product that you want that will solve your problems. When you find them, then you send me a message on WhatsApp with what you have chosen. I will tell you how to go about it. But before you make payment, before you send money to anybody, call on video. Make sure you see my face before you make payment. Because there is a lot of crooks that are stealing money from people in Zambia claiming to be CR1. Nanji, so you are the best. Thank you. Give me some <laughs> magic. What, what, what? Papa, talk about Bishop John General. How am I going? If I talk about him, I don't know it's a credit to him. I don't talk about people who don't, who are nothing in the in the society. I talk about important things. Love you. Buy me a phone as my birthday present. Nilia. Okay. I'm going to do that. You are a Jagaban. Let's hope the magic doesn't have consequence. It's not magic. I don't do magic. But everything on earth has consequence. Even... Christianity, the one you believe, it has consequence. You must follow the rules and regulation of everything. See, I want to introduce you to Godfather. That's another thing that I'm going to explain the next time I'm live. Talk about DRC, please. I would love to know something about DRC. I don't know much about it. And I, I talk about what I'm sure of. See, when you have more viewer than dead and this, of course, more viewer than the president. We are hitting 5,000 tonight. Mm -hmm. See, when it's enough, now you can open a school of prophet and train other prophet. Yes, I can do that. Uh, very soon, I'm going to open a school of the prophet. Talk about police in Zambia. Police in Zambia are suffering. Police in Zambia are suffering. They don't get enough payment. You know, they don't, they don't, they don't get enough payment. They are being used. If you go and see where these police people are living, go to Skansi camp there. You will cry for them. But these guys are working very hard to protect the nation. These are the people that are supposed to be getting salaries. The same salary that that stupid woman is getting, Sumail is getting. The same salary that Bowman Lusambo is getting for licking the boot of the president. These are the salaries that are supposed to be given to the police. Because they are doing a great job, but nobody is paying them. The only people that are eating are their bosses. Those that are close to the president. Those are the people that are eating. And also through corruption. Eh? They are suffering. Even if you see them going on the street to fight, to beat people, they are suffering. They don't have nothing. They don't even have food. Most of them have big loans. They are suffering. And the president don't care about them. He just wants to use them. Hmm? Just like that. You can see that these guys are now becoming drunkards. Because they are frustrated in life. Many of them are committing suicide because they are frustrated in life. They are doing a lot of job. They, you know, they are working so much. They, they are doing a lot of job. They, they, they wake up very early in the money. They go and face criminals. They wake up very early in the money. They wear the same uniform. They, they, their children don't even have what to eat. But they go and fight to defend the country. But they did not pay them peanuts. And then he used them. That's why when Ed, when HH wins election next year, he must reform the police. Police need they need that's why Edgar Lungu never won in any police camp in Zambia. He never won in any police camp. This time around, it will be worse. Not even the armies are getting something. These people are working so hard, but Edgar Lungu is abusing them, misusing them. Oh God. When are you opening your TV station? My TV station is already open. Papa, I'm flowing. I'm following you every time you talk. God bless you. They also chase sh sh uh, shamizi. shamizi. These are rubbish. Eh? You chase a, 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 a shamizi, this guy. You chase him, you don't want him to come to Zambia because he's gay. 
but you are corrupt. Your ministers are corrupt. You don't chase yourselves. Eh? The owner of Chicago's was daring an elected mayor. And no one is doing anything about it. Chinese in Zambia are calling Chinese foreigners in Zambia, in Zambia, in their own land. Zambia is a joke on the Edigalungu. Such rubbish was not going to happen if Sata was alive. Sata knew how to protect his country. He knew how to protect his people. Not that one you put in state house. Jagaban of corruption. That one is nothing. It, it stops so easy from coming to Zambia because he's a gay. Eh? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. Zondwai was coming to Zambia. You stopped her from coming because she doesn't wear panties. Eh? When God created Adam and Eve, who sold their panties? Who sold boxers for Adam? You don't judge people because of what they chose to put on their body. Even in the Bible, Hezekiah, or is it Hezekiah, that went to cry on the mountain, naked. If it was today, you would be deported from Zambia. Stupid people that don't have senses. They trample on people's rights like never before. They think that they are closer than Jesus that they have never seen before. How can I access your TV station? It's there on DSTV. I'm going to post the, the, the details on, uh, on my Facebook page tomorrow. When are you giving us cars again? to be number one i will that i'm not coming to zambia does not mean that i will not help the people of zambia up to today i am helping a lot of people in zambia a lot and a lot of people in zambia up to today and i'm not going to stop helping the people of zambia i will continue helping the people of zambia even if i'm not going to be there even dr lumumba dr lumumba just because he says the truth, he speaks the truth a man respected all over the world corrupt pf government sent him back <laughs> we don't want you in our country <laughs> hey pf you will cry next year <laughs> i feel sorry for you pin your whatsapp number how do i pin my whatsapp how do i do it let me see uh, ask me your question hmm. Ah, I've typed it. But now I don't know how to pin it. Somebody teach me how to pin it. I've already. Uh, <laughs> that's my WhatsApp number there. Oh yeah, give me your questions. Come with your question quickly. We need your TV station on, on Go TV. We are going to put it on Go TV. Tomorrow is going on free to air so that everyone will be able to uh, to will be able to watch uh, the TV station. You have managed this. I've managed. I would love to meet you one day. I saw you once in Sulawesi. No problem. We will meet. It is done. Pin. God bless you. I've seen it. Thank you. Mm. Is T.B. Joshua real? <laughs> Everyone is real. There is no fake human being. Everyone is real. The, the, uh, there is no one that is fake. There is no one who does not do bad things. Including me, I do many bad things. <laughs> I do many bad things. In South Africa here, yeah, I'm leading a gang. A gang of Ita boys. If you know what Ita boys does... You will never associate them with prophets. But I lead them, you know. I lead them. Uh, uh, I do many bad things. No one is clean. But supernatural power is different from Andrew. When I'm talking to you here on, on this life, I am talking to you as a prophet, as seer one. When you see me outside, I'm Andrew. Don't expect me to be holy like Jesus Christ. Don't expect me to be holy like God. Don't expect me to be holy like a, 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 a... It's not possible. 
you know men as i've seen many people who fight men of god papa that one is fake why because he drinks but no i was drunk no i was drinking the first miracle jesus performed was to turn water to wine eh? so you can't you will never don't ever judge a human being never you in your life judge a human being because even the bible says for all have seen for all for all for all have seen when you are judging somebody when you are a judger are you not a sinner have you not seen before you have seen before if you see me and call me say hey, i caught see one drinking if you don't drink you lie there is no sin that is big there is no sin that's small maybe uh, you've caught me drinking but you're a gossiper aha uh -huh. <laughs> You caught me womanize, <laughs> but you also do sex. <laughs> you caught me fake, you caught me or you caught another pastor, fake miracle, <laughs> but you lie. <laughs> you also watch uh, 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 movies, <laughs> acting movies and clap for them. <laughs> Why should you clap for people that are acting on TV and fail to clap for me? It's the same acting. Clap for that pastor that is acting also. If you think he is acting, he is acting very well. There is no one that is clean. <laughs> okay. Come, come. Give us your, give us your, it's Godfather, a human being. I've answered this before. Here in Zambia, we believe Godfather is a snake. Yeah. You have seen him before. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Are you hiring your TV station? Yes, because we, I am not able to talk the whole time. There is a lot of things that will be going on on the TV station. Mm. Where does your Godfather live in Imo State? Mm. I need a Nigerian man, I swear. <laughs> Zambia men are the best men on earth. If you don't know. Zambia people are the best people on earth. If you don't know, the thing you you admire things that you don't know. There is no faithful men more than Zambian men. I've lived there, I've seen how they love their wives. You know, how they love their gay friends. <laughs> they are the best. You know. So don't admire Nigerian men and you land yourself inside the hellfire. <laughs> Zambian men are the best. That's why the president is taking advantage of Zambian people. Because both men and women are nice people. You tell them do like this, they do. You tell them do like this, they do. You tell them do like this, they do. Such thing don't happen in Nigeria. A Nigerian man is going to beat you, beat the hell out of you, beat your father, beat your mother, and continue what he's doing. So forget that story. Why are you not married? Is it that Godfather refused you to marry? Thank you very much, Sia one, because you speak for the people of Zambia. God bless. Given an opportunity to become vice president here for Bali, will you take it? How am I going to become a vice president? I'm not in Zambia. <laughs> I'm only going to be advising Bali through my TV station, through these pages, making sure that it doesn't go the way of Edigalungu, so that Zambia can be liberated. Zambia can... Uh, be okay. Introduce me to an Igbo man. <laughs> you don't listen. Supernatural laughter. <laughs> Zambian man keep on impregnating women and run away. It happened in every country. <laughs> It happened in every country, my dear. <laughs> it's, all, it's all over. Talk about Darasili. I've already spoken about Darasili. I didn't meet us in time. You are a spiritual man, Sia One. Of course. Thank you. Mm. 
Are you married? No, I'm not married. See a one. Say your number. I've already pinned my number there. That's my WhatsApp number. You can send me a request of what you would want. Jagaban, what about Mao Sampa? Mao Sampa still has a long way to go, you know, since I spoke about what we did to him. We have been looking for a way to free him. We have been looking for a way to, because he's a good person, you know. He has the heart of the people. Unfortunately, things happen like that, but he will be fine. What do you think about J. Israel? Say this exposing prophet. I've already said it. J. Israel is just so frustrated, you know. He's seeking attention. And uh, seeking attention, you don't need to pull down other men of God. You don't need to say you're exposing people. No one has the right to expose anybody. What will you say? I've already, I've already said my point. I want to introduce you to Messi, Justin Owen. Owen, I like your laughter. God bless you. Much respect for you, big man. You and I need to have a talk, big man. Okay, my course, no problem. Why are you not married? Because there is a lot of things that I do. I'm going to get married later. Who is cry cry baby? It's Kings. Kings Malembe Malembe. He said cry 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 baby. We want to see your mother shame. See your one. Zambia is in your hand. Zambia is not in my hand. Zambia is in the hand of all of you. How many children do you have? One. Please stop spoiling the name of Nigerian men. I say the truth. We know ourselves. <laughs> Forget that story story. <laughs> Zambia men are very good, you know. They they take care of their their family. Some of them more than Nigeria. I know ourselves in Nigeria, you know. For example, look at our artist. Look at Whiskey. I don't know how many children he has <laughs> without a wife. How about the video? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> uh, how about Two Face? <laughs> Father of all nations. <laughs> I don't want to start talking. We are in, in that area. If you talk about taking care of women, you must go to Zambia and see that. Zambian men really love their women. They know how to take care of their women. Have you ever killed someone using supernatural power? <laughs> have you ever dated a Zambian girl? Yes, I have. See how you look fun in that hat. <laughs> Thank you. That's, uh... Papa, show us the photo of Godfather. I'm going to do that in the next broadcast. Say one, you are great and powerful. Thank you. So true. I love you, Jagaba. Thank you. Say one, you owe me being a loyal follower from the way back in Zambia still. God bless you. Come, is there any question or anything that I left that I needed to tackle? See, one have you been to Chicago? So of course, I used to be in Chicago. Uh, I am an atheist, but I believe in you. Keep it up. God bless you. Lung was in South Africa a few days ago. Do you know what he was doing? What's your say about Thailand? 
Neftali alone. When is the next life? I'm going to advise. Remember that you must subscribe to this page. Immediately after the broadcast, you subscribe to this page. Immediately. So that anytime I'm live or anytime I post something that I'm coming live, you get it immediately. And if you are not following me on YouTube, that's where I say most of the real things. On Facebook, I hide some of the things because Facebook is too much censored. But on YouTube, I say things. So make sure you are following me on YouTube. Prophecy I want CFM. Prophecy I want CFM there. Make sure that you are following me there. It's very, very important. When are the bars opening? Eddie Galungu has allowed foreign bars. To open. We, we saw it there by Chicago and others. They are open. But local bars are crying, you know. Mm. Elizabeth Faith. <laughs> mm. Siawan is a witch. Siawan, a witch doctor is bothering me. You must send me a message on uh, on on WhatsApp. Let me handle him. But you must have his picture for me to do it. What's your say about gold mine? Gold mine must be given to Zambian people. You know, it, it belongs to them. Pin your YouTube handle. Uh, so if I pin it now, the this one will go. Mm, prophet C one C F M. That is my YouTube handle there. I've pinned it. I was blocked on this page. Why? I didn't block. If I block you, you cannot be able to see me. <laughs> see, I want a witch doctor is bothering me. Crystal, remember, I've told you what to do. Mm. One. Hello? Eh? Hello? One name. Uh, Since then. Mm. 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 Okay. Okay, and I'm and I'm live in um and I'm live in a Facebook and I'm finished, I'll call you. Thank you, man. No one likes PF again. No one. The only people that are supporting PF are the people that are benefiting. Even PF cadres are tired of PF. I've just subscribed. Of course, make sure that after this broadcast, you go and subscribe to my YouTube page. It's very important. There I talk, I talk anyhow. I love you, Sia One Obe. God bless you. Thank you. Look at Sia One showing out. I didn't know that I was showing out. I was talking to my brother <laughs> in Nigeria. We love you, Sia One. God bless you. Sia One prophesy in my life. Sometimes you just need to just send me a message of what you want. I do it than saying prophesy. Do you plan to come to Zambia when things settle? Come to Zambia to do what? I have settled in South Africa. My Igbo man is lovely though. Mia Kaseka. <laughs> I love you. Is your TV station going to be on Go TV? Yes. The TV station is already on uh, on uh, DSTV. Tomorrow is going on free to air, and we are going to put it on uh, on uh, on uh, on uh, 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 go on uh, DSTV. How about life after death? There is something I'm going to teach you about life after death. Where do people go when they die? I'm going to tell you. It's not those things where the people say, no, they, when people die, they go to hellfire. 
how can somebody dies and go to hellfire when you sleep, you dream, you still see that person? Eh? Mm -hmm. How can somebody die and go to heaven when you dream? That person is in heaven, but you are seeing that person. All those things are story story by white people. In my next broadcast, if you permit me, I want to come and tell you what happens when people die. That's why when somebody dies, you don't need to cry too much. How many of you would want me to... How many of you would want me to tell you what happens when people die? How many of you would want me to tell you this? How many of you would want to tell me this? Somebody is asking, give us your, 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 give us your, your YouTube handle. My YouTube handle, you see, I've pinned it. Prophecy, I want CFM. That's my YouTube handle. After the broadcast, you must go and subscribe to YouTube page. So that is very, very important. That you 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 hear what I say on Facebook. See, I want to like your cow. Thank you. God bless you, Elizabeth. And all of us are moving to South Africa. <laughs> yeah, welcome. <laughs> mm. Mm. Tell us a bit now. How many of you want to hear about when somebody died? This is a very important. Uh, this is a very important topic that people don't know. Many people say. Some I even hear people say, "I went to hell before." It's a lie. You can't go to hell. <laughs> if I ask, okay, let me just give you a small a cardiac of what hell and he heaven look like. Just a cardiac, just a small one. Uh, when you ask somebody, where is heaven? That person will point up and say, heaven is up. Then you ask a person to say, where is hell? That person will say, hell is here under the ground. Now, the scripture says, according to the Bible, the scripture says, when someone dies, or when the trumpet shall sound, we shall go to the throne of God, which is where? In heaven. Which is up there. And then, if your name is not found in the book of life, you'll be thrown to hell. Where is hell? Down here. So tell me, how is it possible that you'll be thrown from up there and you're falling, 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 falling? You come here, you fall, you go, 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 down, 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 down. You enter the hell. <laughs> you can see it doesn't make sense. You can see it doesn't make sense. There is a scripture that says that a rich man and a poor man. Rich man was very, very rich. Poor man was very, very poor. Rich man was eating. Lazarus that was very poor. I'm going to read that scripture when I come to teach about what happens when people die, where they go, and what happens. When people die, I'm going to come and talk, and I'm going to give you that scripture. It says... Uh, he said, somebody said, you blocked my number, Bashi Nathan. Yes, if you call me on WhatsApp too much, I block you straight because I don't like this stop. You just have to send me a message. Don't call me unless you have you want to get the product. You call me on video call. You see my face. You see? So that's a rich man and Lazarus. They died. And Lazarus went to heaven and went to Abraham's bosom. And the rich man died and went to hell. And rich man became thirsty in hell, looking for water. And he looked up and he saw Lazarus in Abraham's bosom. And he told Abraham, Abraham, can you send Lazarus to come and bring water for me in hell because I'm thirsty? Now, if somebody can look from hell and see somebody that is in heaven, it means the boundary is just there. There is no major distance. It contradicts what says that hell is down beneath and heaven is up above. So you can see that the people that wrote the Bible, white people that wrote the Bible, they are confused in many of the things that they wrote there. So I'm coming to teach you what happens when people die. When someone dies, where do they go? Do they go to hell? Do they go to heaven? In the first place, going to hell. If you are talking about going to hell, how big is the hell? And there are many of us also that are waiting for Jesus to come. 
From the day we are born, Jesus is coming very soon. Jesus is coming very soon. Up to today, we are getting old. We don't see Jesus. I'm going to come and tell you all those things and open your, 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 your mind as an African person so that you start reasoning like a human being, not like a fool, not believing in everything you see, not believing in everything you hear. Thank you. Jagaban, I need to be connected to you. Okay. <laughs> can they let us into South Africa already? <laughs> you can come, you can come, you can come. God bless you. I want to leave you here and I want to say that I love you. Make sure that you subscribe to this video. Make sure that you, you are connected to this uh, a, a page. After this, uh, uh, after this uh, uh, program, just click subscribe. Like the page so that anytime I'm live, you are getting the notification and you are getting knowledge. Give us that supernatural laughter. We like it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. I love you. Love you. See one Boman Lusambo has named his, his twin over the Galunga and stuff. I've already addressed this case. He has transferred Butlik into innocent children who don't know anything. This is how innocent children inherit cases for nothing. We love you too. Okay, good night. Enjoy the rest of the week. See, our one king was insulting you. I've addressed king's issue already. The way I love your supernatural dimple. <laughs> Thank you. See, I one have been scammed for forest. How are you even doing forest, please? Hmm? Thank you for coming live. Golden Jovo. Thank you. God bless you. Take care of yourself. Good night. <laughs>